Good evening. My name is Jaden Van Winkle, and I am the president of the 2020-2021 National Honor Society. I would like to welcome you to the induction ceremony of the 2021-2022 NHS. This organization recognizes the excellence that members display in each of the four pillars, scholarship, service, leadership, and character. These pillars describe the leadership, high academic standards, and good character that are displayed by the members. Scholarship. Scholarship. Scholarship means a commitment to learning. A student is willing to spend hours in reading and study, knowing the lasting benefits of a cultivated mind. We should continue to learn even when formal education is ended, for education ends only with the end of life. Knowledge is one great element in life which leads to the highest success, and it can be acquired in only one way, through diligence and effort. Learning furnishes the lamp by which we read the past and the light which illuminates the future. Candidates have the charge to continually expand their world through the opportunities inherent in scholarship. Service. My office is service. Service can be described in various ways. In the routines of the day's work, many opportunities arise to help others. Willingness to work for the benefit of those in need without monetary compensation or recognition is a quality we seek in our membership. We are committed to the idea of volunteering our time and abilities to the creation of a better tomorrow. Leadership. Leadership should exert a wholesome influence on the school, and taking the initiative in class and school activities, the real leader strives to train and aid others to attain the same objective. The price of leadership is sacrifice, the willingness to yield one's personal interests for the interests of others. A leader has self-confidence and will go forward when others hesitate. No matter what power and resources may exist in a country, they are influential without the guidance of a wise leader. Leadership is always needed, thus to lead is a substantive charge to each of our members. Character. Character is the force within each individual which distinguishes that person from others. It gives each of us our individuality. It is that without one, without which no one can respect oneself nor hope to attain the respect of others. It is this force of character that guides one through life and one, when once developed, grows steadily. Character is achieved and not received. It is a product of constant action, daily striving to make the right choice. The problem of character is the problem of of self-control. We must be in reality what we wish to appear to others. By demonstrating such qualities as respect, responsibility, trustworthiness, fairness, caring, and citizenship, we may hope to prove by example that we value character. I will now announce the 2021-2022 new NHS members. Logan Archdale. Ethan Imkin. Emma Evans. Abigail Fauché.
Aiden Fauche. Delaney Foster. McKenna Huffman. Miranda Hersey. Riley Jansen. Bailey Canelli. Adrian Morse. Reese Putrich. Holly Schreiber. Laura Stevens. Alexis Stuffelbeam. Carly Taylor. Gracelyn Ulm. And Austin Utt. Now will all NHS members please rise and join me in the pledge. I pledge myself to uphold the high purposes of the National Honor Society to which I have been selected. I will be true to the principles for which it stands. I will be loyal to my school and will maintain and encourage high standards of scholarship, service, leadership, and character. Congratulations on being inducted into the National Honor Society, and I hope that you will continue to excel within this organization. I would like to thank you all for attending this ceremony. Good evening, and welcome to Senior Honors Night. I'm Dennis McMillan, principal here at Farmington Central High School. Tonight is a time to celebrate our seniors and their many accomplishments to the school community. I wish to give a special welcome to the members of the class of 2021 and address these words primarily to you. As you are almost alumni of Farmington Central High School, I would first like to thank you personally for your contributions during a very unconventional year. I know this year was very tough on many of you, and I do apologize for that. However, however, there are still 
are many things to celebrate. There are only a handful of gatherings left as a group before graduation day. Before we begin, I would like to offer thank yous for those that made this evening possible. A big thank you to the Farmington Academic Foundation Scholarship represented today by Mrs. Kathleen Kowal. A big thank you to the school board and Dr. Chatterton. A big thank you to our teachers, our faculty. Uh, this was a very trying year and they rose to the occasion. Thank you to our Sports Booster Club, to our office workers, Brandy, Aaron, and Susan. A big thank you to our guidance counselor, Ms. Emily Smith. And finally, to you, parents. We continue to thank you for your support of the school community. Now, without further delay, let us introduce Ms. Addison Gilstrap, Senior Class President, to begin the awards presentations. Good evening, my name is Addison Gilstrap. I am the Senior Class President for the Class of 2021. I just wanted to take a second to thank you all for joining us. This past 16 months has been difficult for everyone, and although it didn't seem like this would be possible, we made it through the school year. This event symbolizes all the accomplishments of the seniors. While this is a virtual awards night, it is still a very exciting time for everybody that is involved, and we would like to thank you for taking the time out of your day to make it. It means a lot to all of us. Most of all, I would like to thank the Farmington Scholarship Committee and all of their sponsors for making this po possible. The Farmington Scholarship Committee has helped generations of students further their education and given them opportunities every year. On behalf of the entire senior class, thank you and welcome to the 2021 Farmington Scholarship Award Night. Now, it is my pleasure to introduce Ms. Kathleen Kowal. My name is Kathleen Kowal, and I am president of our 16-member board of the Farmington Central Academic Foundation. This is our 32nd year of assisting Farmington graduates with their advanced education expenses. These scholarships are possible because of the generosity of community organizations, individuals, and memorials. We also receive monies from past graduates of Yates City and Farmington High Schools who live outside our community. In our first year in 1990, we were able to award five $500 scholarships for a total of $2,500. Tonight, we will present $59,000 in scholarship monies. The criteria for scholarship selection is based on four factors, academic achievement, school and community involvement, desire to further your education, character, and personal integrity. I want to thank the other members of the academic board for their time and efforts in promoting the foundation. I also want to thank our guidance counselor, Emily Smith, for her help in facilitating the applications for these scholarships. This year, we are very excited to award scholarships to each of the 36 students who applied. So now let's present the awards. The first awards are for $1,000 each and will be presented in no particular order. The first scholarship is provided by Kiefer Financial Incorporated and it goes to Riley Reed. Craig and Eileen Thompson scholarship goes to Wyatt Perkins. The Vic Venturi Memorial goes to Cameron Ofield. Bo Cation Memorial goes to Ethan Emkin. James and Patricia Pirelli Jr. Memorial is awarded to Jaden Van Winkle.
The Farmington Women of the Moose Award goes to Addison Gilstrap. The Farmington Odd Fellows Lodge number 44 and Rebecca Lodge number 155 are providing two scholarships. The first goes to Alexis Peterson. The second goes to Courtney Merritt. The Walt and Pauline Greeby Memorial this year goes to Abigail Gillis. The John Taylor Memorial is presented to Jessamine Britt. The Marvin Lozier Memorial goes to Lindsay Marinich. Martin and Diane Lozier Scholarship is awarded to David Peppel. The Brady Threw Memorial this year goes to Tylan Anderson. The Bank of Farmington Past and Present Directors goes to Addison Neal. Dorothy Ann Melville Memorial is awarded to Abigail Simpson. Philip Melville Memorial is awarded to Ashley Jansen. The City of Farmington Scholarship goes to Victoria Benedict. Kent and Kathleen Kowal Scholarship is awarded to Chloe Hitchcock. The Bank of Yates City Scholarship goes to Brock Renner. Farmington Community Bank Scholarship goes to Erica Pasley. The Hannah City and Trivola Community Bank Scholarship is awarded to Lily Sherum. The Village of Hannah City Scholarship goes to Annabelle Easley. Farmington Moose Lodge, number 1571, provides a scholarship to Trista Nichols. Farmington School Board, District 265, scholarship goes to Kylie Turner. Kai Ziegler Memorial is awarded to Samuel Depperman. Farmington Athletic Boosters in memory of Brad Polhemus goes to Kendra Renfro. Jennifer Kelly Memorial is providing a scholarship to Deidre Lang. Lane and Janet Blackman McDaniel Scholarship goes to Emma Vallis. The Farmington Masonic Lodge AF and AM scholarship goes to Justice Jennings. The next two awards are given in the amount of $1,500 each. The first is from the Farmington Rotary Club and it goes to Jack Stevens. The second is from the Farmington Federation of Teachers and Support Staff, and it goes to McKenna Hintz. The next two awards are in the amount of $2,000 each. The first is from the McCord Family Scholarship. It goes to Sydney Barton.
The second is from the Farmington Central Academic Foundation, and it goes to Adian Basali. Mike and Patricia Polito Miller family are providing a new scholarship this year to a high school graduate who is pursuing advancement through a trade program. This scholarship allows up to $3,000 for necessary supplies and equipment. The Miller, the Miller Family Trade Scholarship this year goes to Andrew Bucco. Let me tell you a little about our next donor, Patricia Polito Miller. She grew up in Farmington and graduated from the class of 1956, and then went on to the University of Indiana. She and her business partner were entrepreneurs and launched a company known as Vera Bradley, a company which grew into an internationally recognized maker of women's handbags, luggage, accessories, and gifts. Patricia, Patricia Polito Miller has again generously provided two scholarships in the amount of $10,000 each. In addition, these two scholarships may each be renewed for an additional three years. So the final two scholarships awards for this year are for $10,000 each, and these awards are renewable for an additional three years. The first Patricia Polito Miller Scholarship goes to the salutatorian Samuel Fletcher. The final Patricia Polito Miller Scholarship goes to our salutatorian Joshua McMillan. On Friday morning, April 30th, between 1 and 2.30 p.m. at the high school entrance, each winner must come to pick up an awards packet. Inside the packet is a certificate, directions on how to collect the money, a sheet for the college registrar, and a form directing to whom each must send a thank you note. Sending that thank you note is required. Tonight we gave out 36 scholarships, totaling $59,000. We wish to congratulate each and every one of you and hope that you all become very successful in life. And remember to give back to the foundation. You all are standing on the shoulders of those who came before you. Future graduates will be expecting to stand on your shoulders. And one more reminder, parents and students, don't forget those thank you notes. Including the 36 scholarships we gave out tonight, in the past 32 years, the foundation has awarded 1,300 scholarships, totaling over $1,022,400. Phenomenal. Also, we will be awarding an additional $73,000 in July to Farmington High School graduates who are either a college sophomore, junior, senior, or graduate student. And this money comes from the McCord Family Endowment, the Mildred Brott Endowment, Michael Myers Endowment, Lane and Janet Blackman McDaniel, Vaughn Family Endowment, Glenn and Madeline Rogers Endowment, Ella Wasson Endowment, Arthur and Katie Wolfgang Memorial Endowment, Lewis Newcomb Memorial Endowment, Scott Thomas Scholarship, Rob Knight Scholarship, Michael Greeby Scholarship, David and Mary O'Haver Mormon Scholarships, George and Margaret Parisho Endowment, Illinois American Water Company, Clean Energy Company, Charles and Rosie Martin Scholarship, Sarah and Jeanette, Sarah Jeanette Foster Memorial, 
as well as many other individual contributors to this foundation. Applications for college scholarships are available at all the local banks and Facebook under Farmington Central Academic Foundation. If you are interested in donating to the foundation with a contribution or with your own endowed, endowed scholarship, please contact any of our board members for information. We also welcome matching grants from businesses. In conclusion, seniors, please remember those thank you notes and to give back to the foundation. We will see you on Friday, April 30th, between the hours of 1 and 2 p.m. to pick up your award packet. Pictures will be taken. Please dress up appropriately. Our board wishes all the graduating seniors only the best as you pursue your dreams. Thank you. We would like to honor tonight our student board representative who has served as a high school student liaison and provided insight and perspective to the school board during this past academic year. Please join me in congratulating Chloe Hitchcock. At the high school each month, we honor one senior student as student of the month. While these individuals are voted on and honored throughout the school year, we would like to collectively acknowledge them tonight. The September Senior of the Month was McKenna Hentz. The October Senior of the Month was Adian Basali. The November Senior of the Month was Riley Reed. The December Senior of the Month was Sam Fletcher. The January Senior of the Month was Sam Depperman. The February Senior of the Month was Jack Stevens. The March Senior of the Month was Lily Sherum. The April Senior of the Month was Jaden Van Winkle. The May Senior of the Month is McCray Barnett. At this time, I would like to announce the Senior of the Year voted upon by the Farmington Central High School staff. In your 2021 Senior of the Year, is Sam Fletcher. The National Honor Society is a nationwide organization from high school students. Selection for each high school chapter is based on four criteria of scholarship and academic achievement, leadership, character, and service to their school and community. We would like to recognize tonight our outgoing National Honor Society members from Farmington Central High School. Addison Neal. Adian Basali. Annabelle Easley. Ashley Jansen. Emma Vallis. Jack Stevens, Jaden Van Winkle, Jessamine Britt, Josh McMillan, Kendra Renfro, Kylie Turner, Lily Sharum. Lindsay Marnich, McKenna Hentz, Riley Reed, Sam Depperman, Sam Fletcher, Sydney Barton, Victoria Benedict, Wyatt Perkins. The Bank of Farmington Cystic Fibrosis Scholarship was established to support and encourage seniors to seek an education and career in the field of medicine or any related medical field such as nursing. 
Applicants must have a GPA of 3.0 or higher. The recipients will each receive a $500 scholarship. The students awarded this year are Addison Neal and Kendra Renfro. Spoon River College offers academic performing grants each year for full-time first-year students based on academic achievement. These awards cover tuition and fees for 36 semester hours in consecutive semesters during the academic year. These grants are renewable if students maintain a cumulative GPA of 3.3 and full-time status throughout the academic year. This year's recipient of the Spoon River College Academic Performing Grant is Emma Vallis. The SRC Foundation offers a wide variety of scholarships each year. Scholarships may be academic ex excellence or for talent. Some scholarships are named after individuals who wish to continue making a difference in the lives of others. Some scholarships are for particular um, professions or degree. One of the scholarships is the Mr. and Mrs. Glenn Rogers Scholarship. Mr. and Mrs. Glenn Rogers established a very generous scholarship for SRC students at the suggestion of Mrs. Rogers' sister who attended SRC. This year's recipients of the Mr. and Mrs. Glenn Rogers scholarships are Erica Pasley and Brock Renner. Good evening. I am here on behalf of the International Thespian Society chapter of Farmington High School Troop 553 to award cords to nine seniors. To be considered a thespian, students must acquire 10 points. Each point is equivalent to 10 hours in theater. In total, these nine students have accumulated nearly 5,000 hours in theater at FCHS. Students are awarded blue cords for graduation to denote their thespian status. We will recognize each senior this evening. At the head of our technology department, Addison Gilstrap. In Clue on stage, he mastered the complicated role of Wadsworth, Adian Basali. She brought humor and excitement to Marie the Baguettes, Jessamine Britt. Her rendition of Promise Me This Mira from The Theory of Relativity was inspiring from Addison Neal. She rivals Angela Lansbury as the talent of Mrs. Potts, Jaden Van Winkle. She can costume anyone for anything, Victoria Benedict. Her paintings and ideas spew onto every stage production. Chloe Hitchcock. She stepped outside her comfort zone and big fish as an Alabama lamb, Annabelle Easley. She is president of our drama club and has taken many roles that have challenged her skills as an actress. You may remember seeing her as Mrs. Peacock, McKenna Hentz. The Director's Award is an award given to two very deserving students who have dedicated time and efforts to the theater program both on and off the stage. This award began with Susan Morris, director from 1982 to 1992, and continued with Mrs. Mary Brinnegy, director from 1992 to 1998, and then with Joshua Piper, director from 2002 to 2016. This year is an exceptionally difficult year as many of these students have helped make our program grow into the success that it is today. Their names will be displayed on our new director's wall coming soon outside the theater. The 2021 recipients of the director's award are McKenna Hentz and Lindsay Marinich. Thank you. Hello, I'm Mrs. Freeze Herring and I'm the high school band director. I am presenting the John Philip Sousa Award. This award is given to a senior who has been a dedicated band member all four years of high school. Throughout their membership, they have made a positive impact on the band's successes, 
through leadership, mentorship, and individual musical excellence. This individual was nominated by her peers and is described as an excellent role model, a great mentor, and is noted especially for being a dedicated, helpful, and kind section leader. I am proud to present this year's John Philip Sousa Award to Jessamine Britt. Hi, Mr. Ganchon. Tonight, I will be presenting the National School Choral Award. This year's recipient has been in chorus with me at Farmington since she was in the sixth grade, has been consistently a leader throughout those years, both outwardly and just by example. She's been a perennial member of uh, district ensembles at the junior high and the high school level, been in our musicals, in our chamber chorus, and a leader in the soprano section that entire time, taking solos to contests, being involved in ensembles. I'm very, very happy and proud to announce this year's National School Choral Award recipient is Lindsay Marinich. I'm presenting the John Surter Award. This award is given annually by the Farmington Central Athletic Boosters Club to the senior girl and senior boy who have demonstrated the highest combination of athletic ability and scholarship. The 2021 recipients of the John Surter Award are, for the girls, Emma Vallis, and for the boys, Sam Fletcher. And now I would like to present the 12th Sport Athlete Award. The 12th Sport Athlete Award is presented to those students that have shown commitment to Farmington Central High School athletics by participating in 12 different sports seasons throughout their high school career. This entails a student to be a three sport athlete all four years of high school. This year's seniors that have earned the 12 Sport Athlete Award are Sam Fletcher, Addison Gilstrap, David Peppel, Brock Renner, and Emma Vallis. The American Legion is an organization dedicated to the service of God and country. They believe that one of the best ways to perform this service is to take an active interest in the preparation of our youth so that they will become patriotic, freedom-preserving citizens. It is in this interest that the American Legion School Awards Plan was born and maintained on a national level through the Americanism Commission of the American Legion. The Farmington American Legion, post 140, presents the official American Legion School Award Medal. The recipients best represent outstanding qualities of character and ability. Award is based on courage, honor, leadership, patriotism, scholarship, and service, which, if cultivated, result in better citizenship. This year's recipients of the American Legion School Award Medal are Samuel Fletcher and Riley Reed. The American Legion Sportsmanship Award is given to a person who exhibits qualities highly regarded in sport, such as fairness, generosity, observance of the rules, and good humor when losing. This year's recipient displayed great leadership skills. She has set high standards for herself and her teammates. She displays outstanding sportsmanship, is a team player, and has a great attitude on and off the court. She is an extremely hard worker and is very disciplined. This year's award recipient is Emma Vallis. The Prairie Land Conference Scholar Athlete Award. The Prairie Land Conference Scholar Athlete Award is presented annually to seniors who have maintained a cumulative GPA of 3.5 or higher and earned a varsity letter in a conference sport. This year's seniors who have earned the Prairie Land Conference Scholar Athlete Award are 
Sydney Barton, Adian Basali, Victoria Benedict, Annabelle Easley, Sam Fletcher, Abigail Gillis, McKenna Hintz, Justice Jennings, Deidre Lang, Josh McMillan, Addison Neal, Cameron Oldfield, Wyatt Perkins, Riley Reed, Kendra Renfro, Lily Sharon, Jack Stevens, Kylie Turner, Emma Vallis, and Drew Vodder. The Farmington JFL Scholarship. The Farmington JFL Scholarship is awarded to individuals who participated in the Farmington JFL program for two years, all four years of high school, and plans to attend and play football in college. The scholarship awards persistence on the athletic field and excellence in the classroom. Cam Oldfield is awarded $500 and will attend Loris College. Wyatt Perkins is also awarded $500 and will attend Eureka College. Hello, my name is Captain Travis Wilkinson. I am also a teacher here at Farmington Central High School. The students before you have dedicated themselves to serve our country as members of the Illinois Army National Guard and the United States Navy. Roughly 1% of the population decides to serve in the armed forces. As of today, five members of the graduating class of 2021 have committed themselves to service in our armed forces. Regardless of branch, all servicemen and women take an oath upon entry. Officers take the oath of office upon commissioning and renew that oath with each promotion. Our enlisted members before us today take the oath of enlistment upon entry and again each time they decide to re-enlist. Oaths have existed in the United States since our earliest days as colonies under British rule. <clears throat> today, and upon raising one's right hand, our service members pledge to support and defend an idea, an experiment, a document known as the Constitution of the United States of America. On that note, military enlistees of 2021, please come forward for acknowledgement and the oath of enlist and the oath of enlistment. Mr. Robert Abel has enlisted into the active duty United States Navy. Please come forward. Mr. Andrew Bucco has enlisted into the United States Army National Guard component attached to the state of Illinois. Mr. David Fisher, United States Army, and has joined the National Guard component attached to the state of Illinois. Mr. Kyle Peckham, United States Army, National Guard component attached to the state of Illinois. And Mr. Jacob Johnson, United States Army, National Guard component attached to the state of Illinois. I state your name. I am Andrew Bucco. Do you solemnly swear? Do you solemnly swear? That I'll support and defend the Constitution of the United States. That I'll support, support and defend the Constitution of the United States. States. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Both foreign and domestic. Both foreign and domestic. That I'll bear, that I'll bear truth, faith, and allegiance to the same. That I'll bear truth, faith, and allegiance to the same. That I'll obey the orders of the President of the United States. That I'll obey the orders of the President of the United States. States. And the orders of the officers appointed over me. And the orders of the officers appointed over me. According to law and regulations. According to law and regulations. And the uniform code of military justice. And the uniform code of military justice. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, your future sailors and soldiers of the United States military. Our next award 
is the Principal Leadership Award. The Illinois Principals Association Student Leadership Recognition is to honor one or two high school graduating seniors who exemplify qualities that reflect what our school means to the students and local community. The students recognized this year for the Principal Leadership Award are Samuel Depperman and Sidney Barton. The Lincoln Senior Award. The Lincoln Senior Award is given to a high school senior from Peoria County. They are chosen by their school for having qualities similar to Abraham Lincoln. Those qualities include being a good student, passionate and deliberate in the desire to learn, having an appreciation for self-learning, being selective and disciplined in reading, exhibiting leadership, having ambition to succeed, having good organizational skills, demonstrating an ability to speak clearly and deliberately, being knowledgeable about history and politics, believing in the equality of individuals and traditional values, being courageous, exhibiting persistent effort in the face of adversity, being honest, humble, and loyal, and demonstrating good humor. This year's Lincoln Senior Award is presented to Adian Basali. Our Illinois State Scholars. The State Scholar Program publicly and personally identifies graduating high school seniors who possess superior academic potential. Students from nearly every high school in Illinois compete in the program. The combination of exemplary college entrance examination scores and record high school achievement indicate an especially high potential for success in college. To be honored as a state scholar in Illinois is an outstanding accomplishment. The Illinois State Scholar Program is awarded to high, high school seniors based on ACT or SAT test scores and the six semester class size and unweighted class rank and GPA. Each student designated as a state scholar receives a congratulatory letter, a certificate of achievement, and statewide recognition in the news media. This year's Illinois State Scholars are Sidney Barton, Adian Basali, Victoria Benedict, Samuel Fletcher, Joshua McMillan, Riley Reed, Lily Sharon, Jack Stevens, and Jaden Van Winkle. The Sterling Merit Awards. Students are recognized for their academic success in high school at the prestigious annual Sterling Merit Awards Banquet sponsored by the local Rotaries. The annual event honors area graduates who have attained high academic standing in the top 8% of their high school graduating class that have a GPA of 4.0 or higher. These, these years, Sterling Mayor, this year's Sterling Merit honorees are Joshua McMillan, Samuel Fletcher, Adian Basali, Sidney Barton, Jack Stevens, McKenna Hentz, Riley Reed, and Wyatt Perkins. In addition, these students vote for an outstanding Sterling Merit student. The students presented this award to McKenna Hentz, and Wyatt Perkins. Seniors, you may have heard the phrase, once a farmer, always a farmer, during your time here. The phrase has grown on me and has become common for students who have attended FCHS. It implies a strong connection to the school and a family-like atmosphere shared by those who have attended. Like a family, we have struggles. We have good times and bad. 
we sometimes disagree. But when it comes down to it, we support and we care for each other. That's what families do. Seniors, take a moment and reflect. Your senior story is definitely unique. Masks, contact tracing, remote learning, social distancing, quarantine, temperature checks, and isolation are all terms that you heard on a regular basis this year. Never did I think that pull your masks up would be the most common phrase I would say during a school day. These are definitely interesting times, sometimes very frustrating times. But what I've learned is that through the tough times, sometimes they provide life's most powerful lessons. Through tough times, we learn the value of friendships, which are really tough when we have to quarantine. To not th take things such as athletics or activities for granted. We may learn how to deal with adversity or even how to deal with disappointment. When used property, properly, difficult times can be a teacher more valuable than any English or math lesson. My hope for the senior class is that this unusual final senior year is used to better yourself in life. Your senior high school experiences will not define who you are. Maybe it will serve a better purpose later on. Maybe it will serve a purpose of determining who you decide to be. In the end, high school is just a small portion of your life, but not the most defining moment of it. Perhaps you can take solace in the fact that you endured 2020 to 2021 together, just like a family. Your senior story is different from others. Last year, I stated I witnessed things I never thought possible in education. This year, once again, I continue to say, I've witnessed things I never thought possible in education. Seniors, this does give you a truly unique common shared experience. From here, some of you will go your separate ways. Some of you will go to college, some to the military, some right into the workforce. Some of you will move away. It doesn't change the fact that you're all Farmington farmers. Once a farmer, always a farmer. So to the class of 2021, thank you. I have enjoyed getting to know you, and it was a privilege for me to serve as your principal. I'd like to share a message my mentor once shared with me. It's something I've shared with the previous seniors here. You might have heard it before. I have something in my office, a picture entitled New Beginnings. It means much to me. It's a picture of a sunrise and a sunset. It's all in one motion. Seniors, this is the end of your high school career. It's almost over. However, new beginnings and new opportunities await each and every one of you. There is so much to add to your life story. Make the most of your new beginnings. Thank you and good night.